Good afternoon. Uh, this is a water rocket. It uses the principle of Newton's third law of motion. That is, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Uh, the fuel which is used for this water rocket is, as the same as the name denotes, is water. And the pressure which it occurs is by compressed air, and that is provided by pumping the air using a cycle pump through the system launch system used here. This is the launch system. This is the launch mechanism we are using for this. Uh, for launching this water rocket. Now this is a lock, lock neck. When this neck is released, we are using this trigger. The pressurized air inside this rocket will push the water downwards, which, keeps, uh, which, makes, which makes the rocket to move upwards. So this is a simple, simple uh, experiment, which we can do it at home also. That's all. So this is how we load up the fuel. So, as I mentioned before, water is the fuel for a water rocket. So, the fuel is set. So, now we are going to load this rocket into the launcher. So, for safety precautions, we are taking it out. So, yeah, I am going to insert it. So, hmm. So this is the locking mechanism. So here the rocket is locked inside the launcher. So this is the safety pin and this is the safety precautionary safety measure which is we use for keeping this safety uh, safety net intact. So the rocket has been loaded into the launcher. So when the required pressure is raised, we will use this trigger pin to release it. So this is how we set the launch sequence. Now once the pump is connected and the uh, compressed air is being pumped into the into this rocket, pressure will mount inside. So we will use the pressure of the compressed air to launch the rocket. That's a simple pr principle. And once it is launched, um, due to gravity, the, there is a par parachute has been installed in this rocket. It will be deployed under the force of gravity when it comes out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.